Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and it's time for a Labor Day shave. We're going to be doing uh, two new products today that uh, they arrived last week. I just have not had a chance to get to them. The first comes from Global Shave Club and it is the Sierra Razor. A three-piece razor with solid polished stainless steel handle. And actually this is nice and heavy and I have never seen a handle like this before. Sometimes uh, people go, oh, that handle looks like this or that hand. I've never seen a handle that looks like this before. Solid stainless steel and polished. The head is a 2.5 out of 5 aggressiveness, which puts it equal with the Mercure 34C and the Edwin Jagger DE89. So it should be a very pleasant shave today. Locks in place, see, just like you've seen with the uh, 34C head. I'm going to be using, oh, oh man, last time I tried one of G GSC's razors, I did that uh, accidental and cut my lip. And it wasn't the razor's fault, it was 100% mine. But uh, I'm going to put this razor to the test today because I'm going to use a feather blade in it. <clears throat> if I'm a little hoarse, it's uh, cloudy with smoke outside. There are a lot of fires going on in California and there's ash all over my uh, car and it's a uh, kind of unhealthy air quality. It's just, <clears throat> you end up clearing your throat a lot. Uh, it, it's that time of year. These fires are, ugh. plus it was 100 degrees yesterday and 100 degrees the day before. So uh, terrible, terrible weather. Just not used to it at the beach. So <clears throat> sounds like I got allergies. Well, it's the crappy smoke in the air. Let's take out a feather blade real quick. All right, got the feather blade. We'll load this up and then I'll show you the second of the new items I'm gonna be trying today. All right, here we go. Let's load this up. That would suck cut myself before I even start. All right. Locks in place. Yeah, this is a heavy handled razor. It's kind of cool because it's got a notch here. I was thinking about putting a colored O-ring so that way I could uh, just kind of make it look a little different. I've been doing a lot of uh, repair work on my old Crossman and Daisy BB guns or pellet guns, seals, and they're all O-rings. So I've got all these O-rings. Let's see how it lines up. Lines up really nice. Barely an overhang. I like that overhang to hang on. Barely an overhang. So that's the razor. Second new item today is from Captain's Choice, Land Ho. It's uh, described as a citrus scent with uh, the hint of lavender. I haven't cracked the seal on this yet. I'm going to crack it for the first time. Yeah, the citrus seal, let's see here. Yeah, I smell the citrus for sure. Man, my old nose is full of smoke, so uh, <laughs> from the fire, so I can't tell if the lavender is there. I'm gonna use some prep pre-shave today because as you notice, uh, I've got a lot of growth and I'm gonna use Pro Rosso Green and uh, kind of matches the green. I'm going to use the uh, Ken Surf's uh, 2019 uh, Summer Edition brush. Didn't have a Summer Edition this year. Got COVID. Just stopped a lot of stuff. All right. Let's get this shave started, shall we? <clears throat> friend of the family, friend of my wife, friend of mine, they got married. They're having a... You know, they had to push back the reception, you know, COVID. So uh, actually at the end of this month, they are going to have a dinner cruise, the reception cruise. I think they're going to renew their vows because they already got married, but uh, they're going to do a the ceremony. They did a small ceremony. So they're going to do uh, on this boat in Newport Harbor. And uh, it's a three-deck boat. My top deck's all open air. So I might, you know, have a cigar up there, spend a lot of time above deck with a mask on, of course. 
So I'm gonna be going to that and wearing a suit. Probably bring some footage for you back, but uh, I'm gonna grow out the goatee for that. Uh, I look terrible in pictures as it is, but uh, the goatee, my wife says, oh, well, if you wanna grow it for that, then I'll get rid of it. And Movember's coming up. <laughs> so I'll grow it back for Movember. All right, prep pre-shave with a menthol. I can feel it tingling. All right. Let's soak this brush real quick. I didn't even have it soaking on the crystal skull yet. Because it's synthetic. You don't really need to. All right. Parasso. Does it lather? You tell me. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, happy Labor Day. And I'm telling you, I'm dedicating today's shave uh, to uh, a friend that we lost last month, Jill Snowden. I, some people say Snowden, it's Snowden. I call it Jill Snowden. I was looking back at my memories on Facebook. We've been friends since October, 2018. And uh, she passed away in Florida last month. And uh, I'm dedicating the shave to her. We miss you, Jill. She had the She Shaves with Jill channel. She's just a really nice person. She used to always comment. I made the mistake one time. It was Memorial Day. And it was a day off and it was Monday. And I said, happy Memorial Day. Boy, I got it from Jill. She said, nothing happy about it. You're supposed to remember people who've passed away serving this country. I said, oh, I didn't mean it. But Labor Day, I'm not working today. So happy Labor Day. Uh, and that would have been something Jill would have commented on and uh, poked fun at. So, yeah, happy Labor Day, everybody. And, and Jill, we miss you. Rest in peace, old friend. Uh, we, we certainly miss you. All right. Pro Russell. And I got tagged by my friend uh, Rick Rich Hansen from uh, Shaving with Rich and Rich Man Shaving. And... Uh, He's eating a pizza while shaving. <laughs> it's a tag video and I got tagged. Well, oh man, I'm not gonna do it in this shave. And I actually, I hate tag videos. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them because I hate bothering people. I've uh, pissed off a lot of my good friends by tagging them in the past. Paul H. Films, uh, Sinatra Lennon. Uh, uh, Kevy shaves, uh, SoCal shaves. I've tagged a lot of people and it's, uh, you know, they're good sports, but I'll, I mean, eating a pizza while shaving, who comes up with these? I mean, they're kind of funny, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'll do it, but not this shave, but I'm not going to tag anybody because uh, I don't want to piss off my friends. <laughs> All right. Actually, my hands are wet. It's good weight to it. I guess that's a good place to hold, but uh, yeah, it's not too slippery. Oh, feather blade. Whew, here we go. <laughs> feather blades are basically one pass shaving uh, razor, shaving blades, razor blades. Get that outline of the goats he started. Whew. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. If you haven't tried uh, wet shaving and somebody gives you some feather blades, take a while to try them. They're not as scary as they sound, but you really have to be careful. Don't be talking <laughs> while you're shaving. Shaves very smooth. Like I said, a nice weight to this one. Say what you want about Global Shaving. They come out with some nice razors every month. There is a selection on that uh, website and, and, and Captain's Choice and uh, uh, Global Shave Club have got their website and uh, DS Cosmetic for the uh, Ken Surf stuff. In fact, uh, DS Cosmetics, they got a hold of me and they said, uh, hey, we're, there's gonna be a sale going on on AliExpress where you order these from. 
and uh, I think it's 4% off. So there might be a sale going on right now. Forgot to mention it in my previous video. I apologize, but better late than never. Actually, this feels real nice. The handle is a lot longer than the 34C. But the head is very, very close. Yeah, you don't want to go like that. Not with a feather blade. Been getting a lot of nice comments from people who have just started wet shaving. Welcome to the club. A lot of people say, hey, I've headed down the rabbit hole now. Can't have just one. Buying different razors, buying different brushes, buying different soaps. Uh, welcome to the addiction. All right. I could 100% stop now. 100%. But... I like talking to you again, like I said. We'll go a little longer. There we go. I watched, I remember in 1978, I was sitting in a history class I remember it vividly. I was sitting in a, a history class and uh, every which way but loose, Clint Eastwood movie had just came out in 78. I was a senior in high school, graduating the next year in 79, the next June, and uh, everybody was talking about that movie. And uh, that, it was funny, Clint Eastwood making a comedy? Come on. I read some of the background on that, and it appears that one of the writers, or the script came to Clint Eastwood through one of the secretaries who wanted him to pass it on uh, to Burt Reynolds. But Clint liked it and decided he would do the movie. And apparently Warner Brothers, his lawyer, his uh, agent, they all said, don't do it, don't do it. And he did it. And at that time, it was the most popular Clint Eastwood movie to date. So if you have not seen Every Which Way But Loose, It's definitely worth watching. Got a funny orangutan in it, Clyde. No, nothing. Bang. And two years later, the sequel came out. My son just bought, gotta watch it, the new Bill and Ted, uh, Bill and Ted's movie with Keanu Reeves. It just came out. My son bought it. So I'm going to have to watch that too. I remember watching the original. And the sequel. But I tell you, I had not seen Every Which Way But Loose probably since the early 80s. It was very nice. I mean, if you're locked in the house, COVID, can't go to the movies, might as well watch something that you enjoy. Feather blade. All right, Sheldon, you get my stamp of approval. I thought I was gonna cut myself for that, but very nice. All right, land ho. And this just came out last week. This is on their shelves now. I like citrus scents. Not sure if they have a matching soap. They probably do, they usually do. 
Here we go. <laughs> Alcohol in that one, man. That one burns. <sighs> again, someone's going to say, hey, man, you forgot to shave the goatee again. Go into a, we a wet well. A wedding cruise, we'll call it. Two-hour cruise around Newport Harbor. Luckily, it's around lunchtime. So, uh, and I'm going to be wearing a suit. So I figured yeah, I'll get let the goatee. Although I'll be wearing a mask most of the time. But dudes, I'll shoot you some photos of that. It, should, it sounds fun. Uh, it's good food, you know, all you can eat. So, uh, like I need that. All right. Well, happy Labor Day. We miss you, Jill. And uh, uh, my uh, condolences to your family. I know, uh, I know you had a, a nice family out there and... Uh, it's just a, just a loss, a tragic loss. Rest in peace, old friend. And everybody else, please stay safe. You know, stay COVID free. And uh, hopefully we get things get back to normal real soon. And man, if you're in Southern California, stay inside unhealthy air quality. My brother was in Mammoth Mountain, which is in Central California, uh, by, you know, on the way to Lake Tahoe. And there's some fires up there. And he showed me a picture. It was just thick smoke, my my brother had to leave. He said, uh, I can't stay up here. So he's back down here at the coast with the smoke from these fires. So, so please stay safe. Have a happy Labor Day. We'll see all of you again real soon.